Heavy menstrual bleeding, also known as menorrhagia, is one of the most common gynecological complaints and is defined as menstruation at regular cycle intervals with excessive flow and duration. These individuals have either a total blood loss exceeding 80 milliliters per cycle or menses lasting more than seven days. A normal menstrual cycle is 21 to 35 in duration, with bleeding lasting for an average of seven days and flow measuring 25 to 80 in milliliters. Causes for menorrhagia are numerous and can be divided into several categories. These include organic causes, endocrinologic causes, anatomic causes, and iatrogenic causes. One of the main organic causes is infections. They are usually genitourinary in origin. Sexually transmitted infections are of concern in teenage and early adult population. A wide range of coagulation disorders can also cause menorrhagia. Some of them include von Willebrand disease, factor 257 and 9 deficiency, prothrombin deficiency, immune thrombocytopenic purpura, and thrombosthenia. In addition, hepatic or renal failure can also cause menorrhagia. For example, when the liver fails, reduced synthesis of clotting factors will cause increased bleeding tendency. Moving on to endocrinologic causes, both hyper and hypothyroidism can cause menorrhagia, and it usually resolves with correction of the thyroid disorder. Pituitary tumors also can cause menorrhagia by disrupting GnRH secretion, causing a decrease in FSH and LH hormone levels. And ovulatory cycles are the most common cause of menorrhagia and are more common in adolescents and perimenopausal women. Polycystic ovarian syndrome is another cause for menorrhagia and is associated with an ovulation. Irregular menses, obesity, hirsutism, and insulin resistance. Anatomic causes of menorrhagia include uterine fibroids, endometrial polyps, endometrial hyperplasia, which is associated with an increased risk of endometrial cancer, and pregnancy. The atrogenic causes of menorrhagia include intrauterine devices, which causes local irritation, steroid hormones and chemotherapy agents, which disrupt the normal menstrual cycle, and use of anticoagulants, which decreases clotting factor levels in blood and consequently increased bleeding tendency.